Welcome to Dial Town. <laughs> I'm already upset. Like, the music is giving me only cans vibes. Luckily, I am not alone in this uh, phone sex shenanigans. So let's greet the two poor damned souls who are, who are joining me for this journey. Greetings, damned souls. I mean, we could leave you alone. We just we can just leave. We no, can don't. leave. We no. have the capacity. No, no, <laughs> do not just yeah. leave. Don't leave me with this, the, the yes. telephone. I'm guessing only cans vibes from this. Says the man who's only ever streamed only cans. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you deserve this. The two wonderful, uh, bra brave, not wonderful, brave, brave fools. Y'all know Goggles. Goggles, say hi. Hi. Uh, also, asshole, I'm fabulous. <laughs> and we've got Bree. Say hi, Bree. Hi, Bree. <laughs> I knew I one knew of it. you was going to do it. I knew one of you was going to do it. So you go may remember me from such D&D games as the one I'm stuck in. <laughs> Again, you could just leave, Bree. You, you can do what the skeleton does and hit to Brex. He's <laughs> been his laundry, laundry cupboard. <laughs> That's a laundry cupboard? No. Such luxury. <laughs> I call it a cupboard, but really it's the laundry bin. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we don't use it. Yeah, all the clothes go on the floor. Ah, uh, yes. The floor It's drove. a lie. He's got his socks on my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God. I, I worry stop. that we can't delay any, any further and I'm going to have to hit enter and start a new game. Oh, fine. Yeah. Select a god awful chapter to experience. Um, chapter one. Mm, that's plus a good. Two. That's a good. You must help a man what? emerge from a dumpster for a final time, save a dying theater from ruin, encourage an artist to follow her dreams, and teach an ape man to accept himself in order to access chapter three. Sounds like Twitter. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. Are we getting involved in NFTs in the last one? <laughs> All right, let's start with chapter one and two. <laughs> Oh god, I am already resigned. Uh, <laughs> it barked! Who wants to be tutorial dog? Shall I be tutorial dog? I feel like you want to be tutorial I dog. I do! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's dog and waffle! You're speaking dog waffle! <laughs> Uh, all right, let's do it. Is there any particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? And wait, am I me right now or me right now? Hmm. How existential a crisis do we want to have in the tutorial? I mean, we're 10 minutes in. We're, we can have the full existential crisis. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 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 you look like a fucking hound. Oh, apologies. Let's just move on. Call what? the dog out. Yeah, call the dog out. <sighs> yeah, yeah, let's let's call the dog off. <laughs> we done. Hey, doggo. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Rao. Riff, riff, run up. Run from Ruff, we want to do. <laughs> do we get to enter a name? <laughs> Just dot, dot, dot. Okay. Roll right. Renny Roo, rock for rain. Oh, here we go. What are we going to call ourselves? <coughs> I'm getting shamed by the dog. Really? Yeah, getting shamed by the dog. Rest for rain. Roll. Run. Run, run, Rory. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> nope, don't like that response. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? Or I'm just how God made me, dog. <laughs> I'm just how God made me, dog. Yeah. yeah. I have to go with the palindrome. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. exactly the result I was hoping for. Oh, no. Right, Ram, Rod. <laughs> you do what for, Rod? <laughs> <laughs> Renny Roo, Reckon Reston. Select the head. Oh, phone head. Type right ahead. Phone head, typewriter head. What do we want, phone or typewriter? Why are they covered in skin? You know, I have to say the second option is exactly my type. What does the typewriter actually say there? Nectar, 
dog man. I need some space. I'm, well, I'm worried about that. Dodo? Uh, oh, yeah, Dodo. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we go with phone head for now, and if we do another playthrough, we can do typewriter head. Oh, I'm disturbed yeah. by the amount of skin. Yeah. I mean, they do say it's important to keep a cool head. head. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, I changed my mind. I want to go back, or I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. We got it. We got it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> my brain was murdered with remembering where I've buried my old breadsticks at any given time. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Please re reverberate my wife Joyce's rustly. <laughs> No, if we if we did, Nick would close the game. <laughs> I probably should close the game. Don't. <laughs> Rao, ride or rested. <laughs> what gender do we want to be? Do we want to be a boy, a girl, a nuclear bitch, or other? Ooh, so a can... nuclear bitch. I, I yeah, I I'm quite liking also the picture of a stork that is accompanying the nuclear bitch. I don't. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what's going on there, but I enjoy it. <laughs> Questionnaire, there's no paper, you're just asking me questions. <laughs> Do you know what questions I have? God fucking damn it. <laughs> this is the strongest opening of any visual novel I've seen in my life. It, it really is. <laughs> I am nowhere near tired and exhausted enough to be seeing this, I think. <laughs> It's fine. Running. NPCs will occasionally refer to you by raw Reese's, Roblin, where perfect rendered neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. I'm okay with being so, called a goblin, I think. Thanks, Daddy Doggo. Oh, God. Can I just Thanks, play Daddy the Doggo. Game thanks, now? Daddy Doggo. Yes. <sighs> There's only one option here. Fine, fine. We will thank Daddy Doggo with a little winky yes. smiley. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What did I say? Without rolling me? Alright then. Get out of my sight. I'm dying already. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I, I, I can't. Oh my god. I, was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. No! <laughs> oh, I... An intense continuation. Hmm. Fuck's sake, Bray. We're a sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Darn. <laughs> oh, move. Are we zombies? Relatable content. We've got multiple nipples. Nah, this is probably one of those settings where we're basically a zombie, but they just refuse to use... They just call us, like, walkers or shamblers or ghouls or... Is that a bullet hole? Or a cigarette burn. Uh, could be. But then there's stitches in a, a hole. And yeah, you're right. We've got so many nipples, at least six, which means... Yep. Our average litter size is at, mi uh, at minimum three because it's half the number of nipples you've got. That's that's a true fact, by the way. Uh, this means that we could have little phone babies just clinging onto our chest, suckling at them, at them, their magnificent teats. I I for I, I I regret. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is distressed. Speaking My non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. <laughs> I can't believe Excellent. you hated the idea of this game. Look, Nick, this is this is peak you. <laughs> <laughs> Must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. <laughs> I must find a dank, dark bit to lay my eggs in. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Oh, that was my nickname in uh, high school. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. This all feels very Disco Elysium. <laughs> it feels like something that fell out of Dante's reject pile. <laughs> you know what, yeah. Well, there we have it. The carnival. I don't know if one of these is a narrator and one of these is, is, is the person, or if it's all this person's voice in their head and I'm going to have to voice, like, everything. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defences of mile-high railings. Okay, there is definitely a narrator. All right, who wants to narrate? I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator, need, lay, eggs! Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy it might just work. I feel like I've had a stroke. I, like... <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, ticket buffoon! My name is Jerry, but, but okay, my green acquaintance. 
How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do, do you wish to buy a ticket, Goblin? No, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you d definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! <laughs> How much would that cost? Two pounds. I'd say dollars, but we're in Britain now, so there. Fudge, <laughs> I have zero pounds. Tell me, young squire, would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No, I would not. Ah, oh, shoot. I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I knew that gremlin who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, my cover has been blown. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> That's us. Look, goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only telling you this because your stench is just going to drive away customers. If I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer, it's Valentine's Day today. Let's go, Valentine. <laughs> I need to know. Valentine. <laughs> it's a day de designed by the chocolate slash flowers industry where single dads drink a bottle of gin for dinner. I didn't know I was a single dad. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Why am I explaining this to you? You're barely sentient. We got a hiss, right? Hiss. Hiss. Hiss like, hiss like it's a weave in the 90s. Yep. Hissing and drunken single dads aside, Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. L love? What on God's green earth is that? Or is this love thing a type of feeling I don't really do those things? Oh no, they're both two good choices. <laughs> good, yeah. How do we pick? <laughs> uh, let's go for the second one. God has no place here. Well, sort of. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more than, per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. It's getting a bit hyper-specific. Yeah. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two kit tickets for the price of one, for couples who are in love. If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in, like a parasite. Wow, Jerry. <laughs> wow. That's it. It'll take a real bastard to... Mission acquired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, fuck it. Must source, mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. See, you think I'm joking, <laughs> but this is exactly how I sound when I'm serving customers at work. I guess on I, Jerry. Get on Jerry, get on Jerry, get yeah, on Jerry, get I on Jerry. We got, <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got to shoot our shot. <laughs> Aww. You know what? Fair. <laughs> I will call... The police! Root lost. Was it ever Damn. open to us? Apparently. <laughs> Scuttle away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game we, started we... at 100 and it has not gone down at all. <laughs> Wait, have we if literally anything, failed? Just... Oh no, no we're okay. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 1 The Fun Fair Date. Ah, 10 sweet time. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving even when necessary. <laughs> <laughs> mood. <laughs> yeah, mood. Ugh, do I have to? Great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. I I've got to go number one. All right. Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwatched, pa unwatched patch of grass at Dalton's Lake Local Park. Okay, you are dangerously close to at least four swans at any given moment while in this squalid tent. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah, oh, shit, you're right. I hate it when you're right. I've just realized the bed has a nuclear symbol on it. <laughs> but feel like you arrested. What hell? 
Cool. Thanks. We can die in this game. What, what the fuck was that? Give up on exactly. your love quest. <laughs> Just give up straight no. away, huh? Give up on your love quest immediately because we failed to woo Jerry. I'm I'm 50% yes. tempted to actually just do that and then end the stream. <laughs> uh, sh should we hit this button and just see what happens? I'm really curious. Yes. Yes. The village people, what are you doing? I forgot that was our name. I give up. I've had it with the relentless orb we're all stuck on. I have had it with love, egg laying and everything else. You can't just give up. You haven't even left the tent. Leave me alone. I'm pregnant and tired. Pathetic. <laughs> so what if it is? I'm going rogue. I'm going off the grid. The village people, don't do this. Come on, I'll bet if you really tried, maybe if you actually left your tent, you'd find someone to take you to that accursed fun fair. <laughs> Keep going or literally just give up. <laughs> do it. I, we do go. it. I am committed to giving up, narrator. Fuck effort. <laughs> You aren't fit to forage away from society, the village people. I could just eat turnips, I guess. They grow outside, right? Did you even recognize the turnip field? But they don't grow on trees? Aren't they a fruit? My god, you clearly don't even know what a turnip is. This is a lot of pressure. I thought being a hermit was meant to be relaxing. Have you ever met a well-adjusted hermit? I've never met a hermit, period. That's the fucking point. <laughs> the village people, you can't just... <laughs> <laughs> The village people, are you? Christ. <laughs> I think that's all of us. Uh, well. Uh, oh, there are the eggs. Huh. Egg. How about that? Eggs. <laughs> I guess you just left it too long? That the tent fumes overwhelm my egg layer response. Oh god, oh fuck, not here, anywhere but here. Or so wait, am I a parent now? I think <laughs> I think I'm going for the middle one at this point. This is where my head is. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh god. We're just oh, in fuck. general with this game or Yes. The swans, the children. Oh, so now you care all of a sudden. You're the one who said fuck egg laying. Yeah, but I don't want a swan to have the satisfaction of devouring my young. I don't think swans even eat eggs. Shut. Okay, fuck it. Whatever's done is done. Your eggs have been laid and you're still sadly you. You have overcome nary a trial and dodged all possible character development at all costs. You proud of yourself? Yes. <laughs> you are repugnant. I have never claimed otherwise, yes. Great. Guess you're just thrilled with how things have turned out then. Actually, I'm not sure if I am. Wait, really? And why the heck is that? A sort of devious nonsensical behavior seems right up your alley. I guess something's missing. Something's wrong. Am I pregnant again? Oh god. <laughs> You just gave birth, so I very much doubt that. Cats can be impregnated twice at once, so what's your point? <laughs> yes, but I find that cats tend to give birth to their young all in one go instead of tactically keeping a few kittens in their wombs to shoot out of their gut later at their discretion, not unlike a shrewd feline trebuchet. <laughs> Besides, you definitely didn't have any more space in that swollen gut of yours for more eggs than you just laid. Right. Hmm. But what do you think I lack? Purpose, definitely. You had one goal, and since you achieved it so quickly and without any effort character development, you haven't had time to think of the next goal to hurl your limp green bod at. So you're in motivation limbo. Is this what a midlife crisis feels like? Well, if it was, your kids would be louder and trying to swallow carpet tacks, and your disgruntled wife would be asking you to explain the scratched out scratch cards filling the back seat of your car. Otherwise, though, sure. Damn it. I need some pur pros. Purpose. P pro propane. Go outside. Okay. <laughs> I'm shocked the game hasn't ended yet. Same. Get ready for the most immaculately delivered line in the history of acting. <clears throat> bench. <laughs> Tell me, dear narrator, is bench a purpose? Only for very special kinds of freaks, the village people. <laughs> Trust me, no purpose at all is better than having your purpose in life be bench. Rats! I was so close too. You think this Krupos thing might just end up coming to me? What? No, that's an awful idea! You need to go out and explore the world, talk to folks, seek new experiences, overcome trials and... Dismissed! Oh universe, hear my prayer, you ever-expanding bowl of cosmic hogwash! I demand a sign! Oh, like anything's gonna happen just because you- uh, Hey, uh, I heard yelling. Uh, uh, are you having a heart attack? Oh my god, he's got the word fuckface on his head. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
do, do you need impromptu uh, open heart surgery? Wait, has he already done this on us once before? I feel like he might have. Uh, I'm totally inexperienced, but, but I'll, I'll attempt about just about any major surgery for three pounds, but only if you pay me beforehand because uh, your surgical odds are not that good with me at the helm. If I was having a heart attack, you could dial 999 on your phone head. Uh, I mean, I could if they hadn't blocked my number due to repeated misuse. <laughs> I love Randy. Oh, what the fuck? Amazing. Turns out a broken heart is very different from a heart attack, medically speaking. Oh, Randy. So, oh, poor Randy. you can't fix a broken heart? Unfortunately not, no. So, uh, yeah, my name's Randy. I'm kind of like if the soft underbelly of a turtle was a person. <laughs> oh, no. I love Randy. Swag, thank yous, Randall. <laughs> well, as you bench, ga bench gazing, my scary green friend, are you looking for purpose? How did you know? First thing I tried to, uh, uh, I learned the hard way that benches are not an adequate thing to centre your entire life around, uh, unless you're a drunk carpenter or in a local furniture shop. Otherwise, you're just a bench enthusiast with a next problem. <laughs> so what's your purpose, then? Well, right now I'm at work. Then... One day I get to die. <laughs> Randy, stop being fucking relatable. Sounds marvellous. Except for the working part. What else do people use to occupy their time and energy constructively? Well, you see, most people also... Well, they aim for nice stuff like love, you know. Human connection. I'm green. Dabba dee, dabba die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That doesn't seem easy at all. Do you have a love? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, hold on. Does Randy fuck? I mean, it's in the name. <laughs> I mean, yes, or I mean, yes. I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> but like, like, look at Randy. There's a massive, what can only be like baby food stain above his left pocket and appears to, you know, have been crucified recently if the bandages on the hands are anything to go by. <laughs> Oh my god, Randy's been Jesus all along. <laughs> well, okay then. You, wait, that means that says a lot about the indestructibility of the Nokia 3310. <laughs> it really does. How'd you find them? Were they on a bench? No, no. I crafted my girlfriend out of trash. <laughs> Randy, please. <laughs> Tell me more, esteemed bandaged weirdo. Yeah, I was having trouble finding a mate too. Uh, I guess my intense masculine energy was intimidating to potential partners. Impossible, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I meticulously crafted a body pillow out of literal garbage. <laughs> oh no, the stains on his clothes no mean other things to me. Oh, Every no. night, I fall asleep, clutching my makeshift partner and weep inconsolably. Oh, Randy. <laughs> and this is a normal thing that people do? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would I ever mislead you, knowingly or accidentally? Hmm, I guess not. <laughs> could could I do this? Uh, absolutely. All you need is trash. Trash. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I gotta go wrangle a hostile pond avian before it wrangles me. Ciao. Oh my god, Randy's gone to Restless One. Okay, that man is obviously extremely poorly adjusted. Please do not take a word of his advice seriously. I have absorbed each and every word of his advice. Oh, phone god damn it. Love -y. This isn't right, the village people. This isn't true love. Like manipulating someone to pay you into a local funfair circus or carnival. This is unnatural. This is power no mortal should ever dream of wielding. Shut. I just need to figure out who to model my lover on. <laughs> if you pick Randy, I'm checking out. <laughs> no, no. I need someone who's principled. Uh-huh. Someone who would never leave me. Right. Someone who believes in me and believes I can be better. Uh-oh. Sounds be promising. Do you know of such a person? Yeah! It's you! Shit! What? <laughs> <laughs> I could see it coming. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Uh, I'm so sure it was going to be the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely thought they were going to go left field and put up a picture of Al Gore or something like that. I was like, the only person so far is in the arena. I don't know why Al Gore, but that's just where my brain went. Okay. Al Gore with a phone for a head. Yeah. I mean, that's how he invented the internet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what?
No, I, I don't believe in you, not even slightly. I'm just an incorporeal voice that only you can hear. Pick Randy, he's objectively a much- I have chosen. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so what, are you gonna make a body pillow of me then? How would that even work with me lacking a physical form to depict on the pillow? Hmm. No, wait, I've got it. Behold. Sock. <laughs> okay, so you're dating a sock puppet now. Oh my god. I'm the Raider Sock. <laughs> it's you. You're the Raider Sock. It says Jennifer School Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and the sock is you. You have been given a physical form. This is really sad. Well, do you have any better ideas? Yes, and I have shared several of them with you. This is just Very Chat true. versus Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I say we should follow Ticket Jerry's advice. That guy seemed well adjusted. Well adjusted? He seemed miserable and broken from years of neglect and societal. I have boarded the Jerry train. <laughs> <laughs> choo choo coming into the love station. <laughs> choo choo, <laughs> motherfucker! Fine then, what was Jerry's depiction of true love again? He said, people in love go to the movies together. We should do that! How's that gonna work? You li literally don't have a single penny to your name. Regardless, scene transition. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're sneaking into the movies. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so... I'm oh, so... Man. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, mister. My name's Oliver. Can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> is that a sock puppet? This is no ordinary sock puppet, dear Oliver. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, well, partner. What gender do you assign to a disembodied voice anyway? That, sir. Buy popcorn. What? Why? Uh, are you talking to the sock right now? Or me? I want popcorn. Why? You can't even really eat it. Physical form, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn! <laughs> alright, alright. Oliver, may I have some popcorn for my beautiful slash handsome sock partner, please? Sure, yeah, alright. Why do I get the feeling Chuck Tingle wrote this entire game? <laughs> it does Chuck have Tingle. that energy. But this is weird, but I dig it, I guess. Here, uh, that'll be uh, 19 pounds 95 pence, please. Oh, by the average cinema trip, then. <laughs> Would you accept free bottle caps and a rusty spoon instead? I think they're fairly equivalent in value. Popped corn. How about... N no, I can't do that. Oh, rats. Fuck, this is dreadful. You're totally... <laughs> cryptid <laughs> penis blocking me right now, Oliver. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, how about this? I let you into the cinema to make out with your awful all sock power partner if you're out in and out in 10 minutes and stay out of the direct line of sight of the cctv cameras preferably sure but we might take more than 10 minutes dearest oliver what if we get frisky please just partake of my goofy offer and or probably depart thank you <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe this is all stemmed from us trying to quit the game <laughs> what a beautiful turn of events <laughs> yes I am now a sock puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oliver, why are you watching? Go away, Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> well, well, I'm just taking care of the cinema. You in so I could watch. <laughs> One nectar spree later. Oh, oh boy. Oh my did god. You, did you really need to guzzle so much nectar on the way here? Yes. Can I at least have some? No. Are you planning to acknowledge the dodo? No. <laughs> what are we doing here of all places anyway? You want to feel love, don't you? Oh my god, I've just noticed the poster on the background. It's Control S, save. Not this kind of love. Ticket Jerry said couples make joint bank accounts together. This is the final step we need to achieve true love. All right then, I guess you should summon the... Oh. Esteemed customer of customer ours, my name is Karen. How may I be of service to... Oh my gosh, she's a printer. I, I guess I've she just, won't be working then. I've just realised that narrator appears to be tattooed or carved into the chest of that guy. Is that a... Oh, okay, nope. I'm not asking any questions. Other than why there's a dodo in here, right? <laughs> nope, not acknowledging that. Let's just get this over with. Are you looking to open, a ca no, open an account or... Is this music just getting faster and faster? <laughs> yes, Karen, a joint bank account, please. I believe it is, yes. All right. 
Well, to create a joint bank account, you'll need a co-signee. Co-signee? Co-signee. A joint bank account is for two people, so I need to know who the second person is in order to create your new account. I... uh... I swear, if you tell me the co-signee is the sock... I'm so sorry, Karen. I tried to talk them out of it. We're in love, eh, Carmo? My name is... You don't understand! <laughs> Society doesn't understand us! <laughs> Can you let me eat a paperclip from Karen's desk, please? This isn't the time, sock lover. I want to feel the physical sensation. <laughs> Don't deprive me of that. Karen, can I at least have a paperclip from your desk? For what? To clip the part of your brain that has evidently fallen off back on? <laughs> nah, my sock lover wants to eat one of your paperclips. <laughs> Oh, don't give me that look. It was the socks idea, not mine. This is beautiful. I'm so confused. I Security! We've got another sock puppet infused. <laughs> yes! Is this a regular thing? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. I can't believe this game. <laughs> okay, friend, can you look can you look right at me for just a moment? Why? So the nice fellow behind me can whack you over the head with a frying pan. Wait with a what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well this is uh narrator huh narrator i'm gonna say something stupid now would be a fantastic time to chide me where'd the music go well this isn't ideal at all what the fuck really a madhouse i thought randy said that inanimate lovers were oh hey um. randy they catch you with a body pillow. I propose to a spawn. <laughs> <laughs> Did it say yes? Tragic. Say, so where'd the music go? Could, could you hear music this whole time? Yeah, you had a theme song and everything. Was it cool? Kinda. Had a sort of tropical slash cheap holiday vibe to it. Isn't there always just music playing? Huh. Boy, I sure do love saying wacky shit in a padded cell. Huh. <laughs> Hello? Narrator? Oh, the hell with this. Randy, if I write you a script, can you talk back to me? <laughs> <laughs> the ending where you date a sock and are thus removed from civilized society. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>